What is going on guys? Now we are reviewing the Superior Spider-Man issue 33 and of course this one ties into the Edge of Spider-Verse again just like the previous issue which was issue 32 and it's basically carrying on with Superior Spider-Man now. You know like where we have Edge of Spider-Man, wait what? <laughs> Edge of Spider-Verse I mean. So you know like how we have Edge of Spider-Verse Noir and then issue 2 is Edge of Spider-Verse Gwen Stacy. Well, Superior Spider-Man Edge of Spider-Verse is basically just Edge of Spider-Verse but with Superior Spider-Man. And of course he is the main Spider-Man for this isn't he? He is the one that's rounding up all the Spider-Men and stuff. But before we dive straight into this issue, I actually want to announce the winner of the digital version for Superior Spider-Man issue 32. Now, I asked you guys who are the top 5 Spider-Men you guys want to see in the Spider-Verse. And I basically, but there was loads of you that, some of you were saying similar Spider-Men and stuff like that. And I honestly couldn't pick a winner, so I literally just randomly chose one. And it is this guy on screen now. So... Congratulations to you, you have won the digital version for Superior Spider-Man issue 32 and I will send you the code for that in the next 24 hours and if you don't receive the code then I am either dead or I have just been really busy or something so yeah, basically you are going to get this code in the next 24 hours so congratulations to you and of course for the guys that didn't win I've got many other giveaways with the Edge of Spider-Verse issue 1 I'm going to be doing a giveaway for Edge of Spider-Verse issue 2 and I'm doing a giveaway for Ultimate Spider-Man as well, so go check them out. And yeah, I'll have loads more in the future, so don't worry if you didn't win. And now that we've got that out of the way, we can dive into this comic. Alright, so I absolutely loved the opener for this issue, actually. Uh, it basically starts off with a Spider-Man that just looks like a normal 616 Spider-Man. And we actually have the Spider-Hunter who stabs him straight through the chest. And to our surprise... He's actually a cyborg, and he, he comes out with this awesome thing about, he says something like, ah, you stabbed me in my plasma gun, and then he just blasts him, and it's awesome. And I thought it was really interesting that he could make himself just look like a normal Spider-Man, and then he basically brings Superior Spider-Man, Noir Spider-Man, what are the other Spider-Men, uh, Spider-Man India, Spider-Girl, Spider-Monkey, Assassin Spider-Man and Free-Armed Sp um, what? Free-Armed Spider-Man, yeah okay. Uh, Six-Armed Spider-Man I mean, and they basically all take him down together and it's, I, I found it really interesting here because they all kind of start having not an argument but like a little discussion about how they don't kill, whereas Superior Spider-Man, Assassin Spider-Man and Spider-Girl or Spider-Woman actually do kill. And it's really awesome this part because I think this is the first time Superior Spider-Man has actually been surprised by an outcome that he didn't expect like he's using a weapon on this spider hunter and he thinks that it's actually making him weaker and stuff but what he doesn't know is that the spider hunters exist to hunt spider men like they have developed and grown to withstand anything that spider men can throw at them so basically he's indestructible he's immortal pretty much like nothing can hurt him and obviously that's not true he isn't immortal but basically he's so powerful that he was just pretending that he was hurt and stuff. And basically what happens here was a complete surprise. But I love the fact that he's been blown up and set on fire. And he walks out of the flames just like like Ghost Rider or something. It was awesome. Anyway, moving on just out of the blue. Bricks and Bora actually appear out of nowhere and throw, a ni like, throw knives and stab six-armed Spider-Man. Now in case you do not know who Bricks and Bora are, they are actually from the same family as Marlon, and this spider hunter is actually called Khan. Now Khan, Bricks and Bora are all from the same family along with Marlon, so they're all part of the same family. They're like a family of spider hunters, if you will, and basically they're the best at what they do, and they basically, all the Spider-Men realise that basically there's more than one of them, like there's more than one spider hunter, and it's like there's a family of them, and they barely only just managed to stop Khan. So, how are they going to stop a family of them, which is insane? And I love how Spider Monkey also has like these little qui like quips that he throws out, you know, like a bit of humor. And he actually ends up stabbing Khan. Now, of course, if you remember, Khan is the main Spider Hunter, so it's not like I'm just saying a random name. It feels like I am, though. But yeah, so after that. Khan, Bricks and Bora, since they're all brothers and sisters and stuff like that, 
what the brothers and sisters do, they fight constantly and basically they're fighting over who gets to kill the Spider-Men and whilst that's going on, Spider-Monkey and all the rest of them all just use the teleporter to go back to the year 2099 and it got a little crazy, I mean the Spider-Men realise that they aren't safe for long and Superior Spider-Man has actually found out or discovered that somehow these families of spider hunters actually can sense where these spider-men are and it's really interesting to know that it's kind of like Sp spider-man is part of a food chain if you know what i mean so like you know like the same way we eat food like we need food to survive don't we well the spider hunters we're in their food chain so like they need to feed on spider-men to survive and that's just how it is and it's really interesting as well and one thing that's going on here is the fact that he is asking the holographic thing on his wrist, the watch, the holographic watch thing that he's got that's actually in a figure of Anna Maria. He actually asked it to call him Otto when they're in like, when they're by themselves and stuff. And I actually think that's going to give it away a bit. So I think that maybe one day the Spider-Men are going to be waiting outside and listening in and the hologram is actually going to call superior spider-man otto and that's when the spider-man will click on and stuff like that maybe that's just my theory i'm not entirely sure but now he's talking to assassin spider-man and i think is it spider woman or spider girl i can't exactly remember i keep forgetting but basically he just has a one-to-one -one talk with them and he's talking about how all the rest of the spider-men don't want to kill so they might have to go against like them if it comes down to it and I don't think they've realised this or anything like that, but they technically have to kill a species, don't they? Like, if they want to kill Marlin and all that, they have to kill them all. And it's kind of like wiping out the dinosaurs. Like, in order to survive, you have to kill that species. And it is so interesting. And I just kind of think, I, think, I don't know how to explain it. It's just really awesome. And... Anyway, I can get way ahead of myself and talk about this all day, but let's get round to like the punchline and stuff. I absolutely loved that art in this comic, especially like the cooperation between all the Spider-Men and even just the opening page for the comic where the uh, Cyborg Spider-Man, sorry, I couldn't remember his name then, the Cyborg Spider-Man blasts Khan or Spider-Hunter, whichever one you want to call him, in the face was just awesome. So I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10. It was fantastic, and I cannot wait for the next issue. But until then, at the end of the comic, there is actually a checklist, and the next issue is Edge of Spider-Verse issue 2, and then Edge of Spider-Verse issue 3, and then it goes Edge of Spider-Verse issue 4, then it's Amazing Spider-Man issue 7, then Edge of Spider-Verse issue 5, and then Spider-Verse carries on in Spider-Man 2099 issue 5, and then Amazing Spider-Man issue 8, and then in Amazing Spider-Man issue 9, the official Spider-Verse comics kick off. And that is where it gets a little crazy. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Talking about crazy, check out this that someone actually commented on one of my videos with. Thank you to you, wet boy. You are awesome for actually putting this link in one of the comments. And it actually shows Superior Spider-Man and... 616 the amazing spider-man actually fighting each other now you guys are probably like how is that possible because superior spider-man is 616 spider-man well time travel imagine superior spider-man going through time and traveling to the future and peter parker having his body back in amazing spider-man issue 7 or issue 8 or issue 9 or whenever we're gonna see it so yeah time travel is so confusing but basically Peter Parker is going to see Superior Spider-Man and you have to realise that these are both the same Spider-Men so it's really interesting to see that it's dead weird and yeah <laughs> let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below I'm definitely looking forward to that so that is going to be so freaking cool one more thing though Ultimate Spider-Man Miles Morales is actually going to be teaming up with Disney XD's Ultimate Spider-Man as well. Now, you guys are probably thinking, no, that's only in the TV show on Disney Channel or Disney XD or whatever it's on. But no, Miles Morales the Ultimate Spider-Man is actually going to be teaming up with Disney XD's Ultimate Spider-Man in the comics as well. Or, that's what I've been told anyway. I've been told it's the Ultimate Spider-Man from Disney XD, but I don't know, but... 
It looks interesting. It looks like it's going to be awesome. I'm not entirely sure which issue it's from, though. It's most likely from another Edge of Spider-Verse issue because we still don't know who Edge of Spider-Verse issue 4 and Edge of Spider-Verse issue 5 are. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, it also could be from one of the official Spider-Verse comics that come out in uh, November after Amazing Spider-Man issue 9. So that's going to be pretty good to find out. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this and all of this crazy Amazing Spider-Man Superior Spider-Man going head to head against each other and then Miles Morales and Ultimate Spider-Man looks like he's teaming up so yeah let me know don't forget to hit the like button if you like my video and of course don't forget to go to the link in the description follow me on Twitter we can have a discussion on there about all of this and also congratulations to the giveaway winner that actually won the Superior Spider-Man issue 32 remember that code will be with you within 24 hours so congratulations to that and Last but not least, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. I'm about to go review Edge of Spider-Verse issue 2, so look out for that later, and I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah!